Competition host Chile enter this match as big favourites to win when they play Peru. Joining us now, right now uh, to preview the match is Rodolfo, contributor for SportsTalkReview.com. Now, Chile are on good form right now and they're second favourites to win the competition. Uh, are you expecting Chile to dominate this match? I, I really think that Chile is, is, is going to do exactly the same thing that they have been doing. They have momentum. They control the tempo of the games. So they are definitely are going to go uh, up front. They're fly, their motivation is flying sky high right now. So um, I think Chile is, is, is going to go all in again in this match. Mm -hmm. Would you play Chile half-time, full-time, 2.4 bet, Victor? No, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't play that. And the main reason why is because Peru is is is, is well organized um, in the back and the defense. Of course, they still lead goals, but I think that uh, Gareca, who's the coach from Peru, this this guy's from Argentina. He's a very very experienced coach, though. Um, they, I really think that the approach that he's going to take is going to be. Uh, probably a four-four-two, you know, two big blocks in the in, in the in the in the final, uh, a little bit above of the final third, and they, they're just gonna try to stop Chile and try to counter. They do have some fast breaks um, on the on the counter. Um, they have uh, Paolo Guerrero. Uh, they also have uh, Farfan. I mean, th those are those are really really good players. Though. So um, I, um, I I I expect uh, Chile to be again. All in, and Peru just play defensively in there. Okay. Well, uh, Chile is quite low there, 1.53 on the winner's market. That's Paddy Power. Uh, the draw is four, uh, but 3.65, and Peru is eight. Are you backing Chile to win? At those thoughts, no, I am not. Um, for for some of our uh, viewers uh, that they may like to back Chile, though, I will probably advise them to wait uh, for live betting if they have the option up for that in, in order for the odds to raise. Mm -hmm. uh, however, at that at that price, I, I wouldn't back Chile. Uh, there are other markets that have way more value than than just taking a Chile ML at those odds. Yeah, would you then take their take their win and then say combine it with either the total goals or both teams to score? I wouldn't, and the main reason why is again, Peru. I think Peru is going to take a defensive approach. Um, mo most of the attacking and the aggression is going to come from Chile, so uh, Peru is going to rely on counters, and I, I just don't want to rely on Peru to give me that 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 goal for the over. Though I mean, Chile could very well put three on the scoreboard. Then and again, you know, Peru is going to park the bus, and and I just I just don't see in in over in here. Mm -hmm. Possibly, I mean, possibly could happen, but I just don't see the over in here, and I, I am not sure if Peru is going to score. So I, I wouldn't combine, I wouldn't combine those bets. All right then. So what, what do you like for this match? Okay, um, I expect, I expect a fight again, just like in the quarterfinals. Okay, this is, this is something called. El Clásico del Pacífico. This is something very big. The the Pacific uh, the ocean, Pacific Ocean Derby. That's what they call it in South America, though. Um, th these teams, whenever they clash, is is a huge fight. There's a lot of uh, fouls. There's a lot of bookings. So I'm gonna go. My first step for this is gonna be bookings over 5.5 mm -hmm. at 1.84 in Pinnacle. And my second tip is gonna be Chile. Total um, team totals over 1.5. I expect Chile to score two goals in this match. That is a 1.83 pinnacle. Okay, wonderful. Thank you, Rodolfo. Thank you very much, Natalie.